Have you ever wondered what life would be like if you were born on a space station? Picture this. Instead of the familiar confines of Earth, you're delivered into the world aboard a high-tech vessel, suspended in the silent cold vacuum of space. Your first breath isn't filled with the scent of fresh air, but the sterile, recycled atmosphere of the station. Your first sight isn't the blue sky, but the infinite expanse of space. Imagine that. Imagine being born not under the familiar pull of Earth's gravity, but in the weightlessness of space. A birth in the great expanse of the cosmos would be an event like no other, a first in human history. Yet, childbirth in space presents a plethora of unique challenges. For starters, the lack of gravity might make it difficult for a newborn to draw its first breath. However, scientists believe that with the right equipment and techniques this hurdle can be overcome. Then, there's the issue of cosmic radiation, which could pose a significant threat to the infant's health. Again, technology might be our savior here, with advanced shielding materials possibly providing the necessary protection. But the most intriguing question might be how the human body would adapt to being born in zero gravity. Would the baby develop differently? Would its senses and motor skills be affected? These are questions that only the passage of time can answer. Your first cry would not echo through a hospital room, but be absorbed by the silent void of space. As you grow, the space station becomes your playground, a place where the rules of Earth don't apply. Gravity, or rather the lack of it, becomes a constant companion that reshapes your world and the way you understand it. In zero gravity, your body grows differently than it would on Earth. Your spine, unburdened by the force of gravity, tends to stretch out, making you taller, but it's not all fun and games. Your muscles, including your heart, could weaken over time due to the lack of resistance they face. This is because they don't have to work as hard as they would in an environment with gravity. It's a bit like going to the gym and only lifting feathers. You'd need to exercise about two hours a day just to keep your muscles from weakening too much. Astronauts currently do this using specially designed equipment that can simulate the effects of gravity. Your bones would also be affected, becoming less dense and more prone to fractures once you return to Earth. And it's not just your physical development that would be different. Consider the simple act of eating. In space, food doesn't stay on your plate unless it's strapped down or stuck together. And let's not forget about drinking. Imagine sipping your favorite juice from a bag through a straw, because in space, liquids don't pour, they float. Then there are the games you'd play. Soccer and basketball would be out of the question, but think of the possibilities. A game of tag where you can push off walls and float through modules would be a daily occurrence. And sleeping? You can't really lie down in space. Instead, you'd be strapped into a sleeping bag attached to a wall, floating as you dream. Imagine your first steps would not be on a solid ground but floating in the air. Growing up in zero gravity would be an experience like no other, a life lived in defiance of the laws that bind us on Earth. Your classroom is a hub of scientific knowledge, your teachers are astronauts and scientists. How about that for an educational experience? Instead of a traditional school building, imagine your classroom floating amidst the stars. You're not just learning about space from textbooks and videos, you're observing it firsthand. Your science lessons are no longer confined to the pages of a textbook, they're unfolding around you in real time. And your physics lessons? They're not just theories and equations anymore, but tangible experiences as you float in zero gravity. Now let's talk about your teachers. They're not just educators, they're astronauts and scientists leading experts in their fields. They're the ones who have dedicated their lives to exploring the cosmos and now they're passing on this knowledge to you. How's that for a teacher-student ratio? But education on a space station isn't just about academics. It's about learning to live and work in an environment that is fundamentally different from Earth. You'd learn practical skills too, like how to repair a spacesuit or how to conduct a spacewalk. And you'd learn how to use advanced technology and equipment, skills that could give you an edge back on Earth. Social life on the other hand would be quite different. With a small and diverse group of space station inhabitants, you would be part of a tight-knit community. There wouldn't be a bustling city or a sprawling neighborhood to explore, but a confined space station. You'd learn to live and work together to resolve conflicts and to build strong relationships. You'd celebrate birthdays, share meals, and even have movie nights, all while orbiting hundreds of kilometers above Earth. And in this unique environment, you would learn more than just academics. You'd learn about cooperation, resilience, and adaptability. 
You'd learn how to live in a community where everyone relies on each other for survival. You would not only learn about the universe, you would be living in it. You would not just be a citizen of a country, but a citizen of space. Imagine that. We've walked through the journey of being born in the cold void, the cradle of stars, and how different it would be growing up in a realm of zero gravity. A life where the concept of up and down would be as alien as we would be to the Earth-born folks. We've considered the unique challenges and benefits to education and social life in a space station. Imagine learning about Earth's geography from a place where you can see the entire planet at once. Picture forming friendships and connections without borders, where nationality is as irrelevant as the concept of sunrise and sunset. But let's take a step back and reflect. Being a space-born human would not just change our perspective physically, but philosophically as well. We would embody the concept of a global citizen, or rather a universal citizen. Our very existence would be a testament to human achievement and our potential to reach for the stars. Yet, it wouldn't come without its own share of challenges. The physical and psychological impact of such an existence is still largely unknown. We would be pioneers charting a course through unexplored territory. So next time when you look up at the night sky, think about what life would be like if you were born on a space station. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narration.